Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the Marvel Legends Sauron Build-A-Figure Wave Lady Deadpool, which is a figure I don't know if people wanted. I mean, I've always thought it was cool that Lady Deadpool existed, and I've had to make a few customs of it, and I've always liked the design, and I'm happy to get a figure for it, but I don't know if other people feel that way. I'm curious, were you guys excited for this? Not do you like it now, but were you excited for it before? And then after this review, after you watch it, let me know if you still like it, or if you still don't, or however you feel about it. I think that'd be fun. But it does do some things pretty well, and some things not so well, so let's go ahead and get it off the stand, and take a closer look. This figure stands just about six and a quarter inches to the top of the head, which makes it just about a little shy of 16 centimeters. And it's it looks okay. Look how freaking skinny her legs are though. Like incredibly, incredibly skinny. They gave her some breastuses. The boobages are there. They're fairly accurate because she's usually drawn with some pretty big chesticles. But her legs are... They're so disproportionate. They're so small compared to her body. They're as skinny as her arms. That's not how people are built. Even really skinny people have skinnier arms than legs. And she's a superhero, people. And that's just not right. It throws off the entire aesthetic. And the head, which is actually accurate, they always draw her head very round. So that's fine. But because of that, it makes this look even worse. You need to give her some shapes, Hasbro. Where are the shapes? Well, they're right there, but we need some more down here, too. There are not enough shapes down there. Even, look at that. She's got a little a little boom boom right there, but then the legs, straight up skinny legs. And again, like I said in the other review, this isn't like a pervy rant. This is a, it doesn't look right. It looks goofy. Look how skinny, even, it's just, it looks so skinny. And it is, it's weird. So that's a bummer. Otherwise, it looks okay, I guess. I mean, the pouches are all separate things, so they're brown. Kind of a soft sculpt for these thigh pouches. The, the belt is okay with the silver and black painted. I'll take that. The ho holster up here, the harnesses, not holster. Uh, it doesn't really fit that well. You can see it doesn't lay on her body properly, but it, it's there, so that's okay. Hair sculpt is okay. I like the flow. It's pretty nice. It's got some shading in there, so that's okay. You can't articulate it, though, so that's kind of a bummer. The reds are not universal. You see some darker reds like in the thigh or in the hips, lighter reds in the thighs. Mostly everything is the lighter red except for the the torso, basically the hard plastic parts. So the lower torso and the hips, those are hard plastic in a different color. The black paint works pretty clean though. Uh, surprisingly clean in fact. So I like that a lot. That's really nice. A little bit of silver paint on the belt other than the buckle would have gone a long way, but it's not there. As far as accessories go, we have her two katanas. These have red handles, which uh, I like that, but she can't hold them very well. And since she has gripping hands and only two gripping weapons, you would think that she'd be able to hold them better, but she can't. And then her other accessory is head pool, which you can take and put on the Deadpool figure, which is pretty cool. And it's really nicely detailed, decent paint, decent sculpt, and the propeller spins. And you do get a little clear stand for the head if you want. It doesn't really peg in very well, but it'll hold it up. So if you want to just have it on its own, you can do that. So that's pretty nice. Back to this figure, let's talk about the articulation. The head doesn't sit that high off the neck, so lollipop syndrome is minimal. But you will get decent range. You can give a little bit of attitude. You can lean it all the way back, and then of course you do get lollipop. Honestly, leaning it back, if that's the only time it happens, that's okay. That tends to happen, unless the neck is made properly, which you're not really going to get out of Hasbro anytime soon. For example, this one was this old-ass Bucky Cat mold, which people complain about, but it's still the best one they have. Look at that. You can lean it back, and there's no, there's no issue. Now, of course, this head's a little smaller than normal, so just to prove the point, we'll put the regular head back on. No lollipop syndrome. It's doable. They just don't do it anymore. But you do get the range, so I'll give them that. You can raise these arms up pretty well, though the shoulders don't quite fit in the sockets. They're a little bit too bulbous, but pretty good range. Full rotation. Single jointed elbow. Oh, these are those fat arms. Look how fat the arms are. It's so stupid. The arms are fat and the legs are skinny. You can rotate them, though. That's where you get your bicep swivel. Swivel at the wrists, and then you have your hinge. So that's okay. There's the hands that don't hold the joint or that don't hold the swords. The diaphragm joint does lean back pretty well, leans forward okay, leans side to side okay, full rotation, kind of. You have to force it, but it's there. So the diaphragm joint's pretty good, I'll take that. And then for the hips, we can bring the legs all the way forward, that's nice. She kicks high, that's pretty good. Going back, not so much, out to the side, yeah, not so much again, that's kind of a bummer. 
Thigh swivel is really stiff, but it's okay. And then you have your double jointed knee, that's fine. Ankle hinge goes all the way back. And if you tuck it over that, does it go? I can't get it to go any farther. It doesn't want to go any farther, so it doesn't work very, very well going forward. And the ankle rocker is okay. So it's a mediocre figure. Ultimately, it does some things nicely, some things poorly. Nothing that's like dramatically bad other than the thighs. So I guess it's okay. Yeah, she can't hold her swords though very well. And the proportions are weird. Ah, I don't know. Subjectively, I want to say I like it more than it's actually worth. So subjectively, I think it's okay. Objectively, it's really, it's really not that okay. So anyway, you guys have the information. You can decide for yourself now. I don't know. I'm, I'm a little bit bummed out. But at the same time, I really want to like it. Let me know. Are you guys bummed out by this? Or are you just are you okay with it? What do you think? Alright, thanks for watching, guys. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, I do have new videos every single day. We talk about action figures, movies, TV shows, video games. I sculpt. I make action figures three times a week live. All kinds of fun stuff, so make sure you come back for that. And in the meantime, keep collecting. <laughs>